So we have now moved to the north side of Joshua Tree National Park and that's what we're going to be visiting today and just kind of checking things out. So come along with us. So welcome to Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, we are on the north side of the park and uh, this is Tigner Adventures. For those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back. And those of you that are new, please consider subscribing to our channel and ringing that little bell so you get notified of our new videos. And of course, giving us a thumbs up. That always helps us out. So we are camped just uh, outside of Joshua Tree, California in a dispersed camping area there that we found. It's actually called the North Joshua Tree um, Dispersed Camping Area on Campinium, so it's easy to find. There are actually two visitor centers on the north side of Joshua Tree National Park. One of them is located in the town Joshua Tree, the other one is in 29 Palms. And what we're going to do today is we're going to enter the park from the Joshua Tree side and then exit on the 29 Palm side. So the first visitor center you see here is the one that's in Joshua Tree. It's actually downtown. It's a fairly small building shared with a um, little restaurant uh, grab and go coffee place. And even though it's small, the rangers in, that are inside are very upbeat. It's a pretty uh, clean and bright uh, area. And it's uh, got little, a couple little videos that you can watch, kiosks that you can just kind of watch to get an idea what's going on. And it does have a video on the rocks that we <laughs> had a question on on the last video. And so these rocks were basically all formed from you know, the tectonic plates moving around and then magma moving up and melting things and, you know, kind of pushing things up and then over time, and no, there's no eruption around here, but it over time just kind of eroded away and, and the different types of rocks kind of came to be. So that's what uh, that's all about. Um, so that's kind of cool. So from the visitor center, we drive up the road quite a ways to actually get to the entrance. And this particular entrance is probably the busiest. Uh, one of the rangers said, especially on the weekends, you can get up to about two hour wait, just trying to get through. Uh, we kind of zoom through here pretty quick uh, because we have a pass. And so they uh, directed us by passing the uh, shed. But those that have to pay, you know, it takes quite a while for each person to pay. And so the line does move pretty slow. So just be prepared for that. We are here on Monday morning. And uh, so I can just imagine what the weekend is like around here, especially during March and April, which is their busiest time because after that it starts getting pretty hot. So we are moving up the road today and we're going to go, our goal this morning is two different things. We're gonna go up here to the Keys view and kind of look at all the different uh, Joshua trees around here in this particular area. A lot of Joshua trees, a lot of rocks. So we're gonna kind of look at those different things and then we're gonna go down the road from there just a little bit to a hike that's called uh, Skull uh, Rock Hike. And so we're gonna go check out that hike and do at least that hike today. And then tomorrow we'll do a few other uh, hikes and things, but we're just gonna kind of introduce ourselves into the park today and kind of see what's going on. Cool little view of uh, Joshua trees and all rocks mixed in together. And so it's a little windy, so hopefully the wind doesn't kick in here too much, but I just wanted to kind of show the area just a little bit. It's also uh, a lot of road traffic today because you know, Monday's a popular day to do anything. Lots of rocks, lots of rocks. I see rocks. Push. Oh, look. Now that's holding one of them up. Push hard, push hard. I don't think you're gonna move it. This side of the park definitely has the Joshua trees. These are some really big Joshua trees. It's amazing they can get so big. So these rocks are called Monzo granite, so M-O-N-Z-O granite. It has a lot of climbing routes, a lot of uh, bouldering, repelling, just a really fun area. So we made it to Keys View and uh, we're just going to go up on top here. The wind is blowing so hard up here that it is hard to keep the camera steady. But if you look off here to the left as I start panning the valley here, we got the Salton Sea in the distance. And then as we go around, then we actually see uh, Palm Springs down below. 
and Palm Springs is known for its over 300 golf courses that everyone comes here to winter and have fun. Well, this is called the Hall of Whores. And it's not quite as windy down here as it was in Keys View. Man, it was windy up there. We had to put our jackets on. It is getting cold today. As we enter the Hall of Whores. Oh, look, it's Ninette. She's in the Hall of Whores. Thanks, I'm a scary one. That's cool, isn't it? I think we found another Hall of Whores. Oh, look at this. I do think that the rangers have a good imagination on some of the names they come up with for some of these places. But this is pretty cool. All right, let me see ya. So we made it to uh, Skull Rock, and it actually looks like a skull. So that's pretty cool. And Here's a view of some of the other rocks that are up here, and with imagination you could uh, really pick out a lot of uh, different things up here. Anyway, that's it for today. We're going to head back home, and then tomorrow we will look at uh, the other side starting at 29 Palms. Welcome to day two of visiting Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, the wind is still blowing good today. <laughs> it's nice and cold. Last night's low was uh, 42. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 70 today, but with this uh, nice cold wind, it is pretty cold out here. So I've got my big long sleeve shirt on today, and uh, we're going to do some hikes today. We want to go do the Barker Dam hike, and so we're just kind of going to drive to that point and do that particular hike today. We uh, started off today by going into Indian Cove Campground, a very small um, campground sites a lot of campground sites but very small sites so hard to get more than just a car size into a lot of them I do see from time to time a little trailer um, I've also seen a couple RVs in the park there are about six to eight campgrounds on this side of the park they're all the same they have lots of campsites and very small uh, most of them are really geared towards tent camping so we visited Indian Cove campground uh, first thing because it's kind of right here in the middle and then we headed over here to 29 Palms to the Oasis Visitor Center. It's not as big as the Joshua Tree one, and it's not as small as the one that's on the south end, the Cottonwood one. But they do have, you know, another store, and they do have some things inside. From the Oasis Center, it's three miles up to the entrance, and this side of the park doesn't have a lot of scenery. Because of that, I think you know you can get into the, this side of the park a lot faster than you can the Joshua Tree. It looks like the Joshua Tree side is probably the most popular out of all three entrances. The thing that we want to do today is we want to uh, go do the Barker Dam hike. So it's kind of in the middle between both uh, entrances. So we're just going to work our way over to there and, and maybe stop at a couple places if we missed a couple things or we see a different view because we're looking at a different way going this direction. We'll stop and uh, videotape those things. Now this has to be the biggest tree that we've seen. So the biggest Joshua tree that we've found. So big, its limbs are breaking off. And then in contrast, here are some baby Joshua trees, just new guys, just starting out. Going straight up, haven't even branched off yet. This is the Barker Dam hike. It's one mile round trip, so we're gonna go for a little walk and see what we see.
Well, Ninette's right. We found the rain before we found the dam. So we're taking up shelter in this little overhang area here. And let's see if the rain just passes by quickly. Okay, so that dam there is Barker Dam. And, yep, there's no water in it. But it would dam it up and then bring it down here. And this is where they would water the cows. So they made this little trough area down here. We are now below the dam of no water. This looks like it was some kind of trough. Oh, looks like it was for feeding. They put hay in there and then the cows could get water over here. Interesting. Must have had some kind of pipe that came down here before. That's not here anymore. And now we are continuing the loop back to the vehicles. We don't know if this is the trail or not. It kind of looks like it, but <laughs> it's like, oh, I see a little sign up there. It's gotta be the right place. There's a sign. I've been on too many of these trails of yours. So the National Park Service I think the guys that put these out here are the rangers that walk these paths every day. They know where everything is. When you're a brand new person, there's a lot of guesswork involved sometimes of where to go. But, pretty cool hike. This is rated easy. So, it's easy. If only these trees could talk, what story would they tell? How old do you think these trees are? I wonder how fast they grow. I think the aliens came and planted them. Oh, the aliens came and planted them. Just in this one area. This happened to be where they landed. They definitely look like alien children. Not that I know what alien children look like, but I'm just saying, could be. Found some wildlife. It's amazing how much wildlife is actually in the desert. All kinds of different things. We want to get a black light. See what's out at night. Tansy sits up on the, her catio and just stares into the night. Pretty much all night, and she sleeps all day. So she's saying something. Probably keeping all the mice away from our rig, hopefully. There's another gnarly washer tree coming up here. Definitely seen better days. So, we were thinking that the people broke these things off, but uh, nobody got up that high. Look at the root system. Look at it. the roots down here. They really branch out to get water wherever they can. Well, we found a sign. I didn't mention there are petroglyphs here, so we are going forward. We found the petroglyphs. We weren't really that far after all. Well, that's pretty cool. Look at all those petroglyphs. So this rock that's overhanging the petroglyphs has these big cracks going through it. Some of those have already broke off. Alright, we're on our way back to the car. So we're continuing the loop. Wandering through the desert. 40 days and 40 nights. 40 minutes. <laughs> Looks like we've made it back to the other trail. Well, that completes our trip through this north section of Joshua Tree National Park. 
and uh, we had a lot of fun. Hopefully you learned something and maybe seen some things that you like and maybe you can put this on your bucket list. Anyway, with that said, that ends this video and we'll just see you down the road.